Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Auto. So here we have a Renault Zoe, obviously. It's a 2015 Zoe. It's got the 22 kilowatt hour battery pack that sits there under the floor. This currently is a leased battery, but we now have the option on these to buy out of the battery lease. So as you'll see on the website, there are two prices for this car. One with the battery lease, if you want to continue with that, or one if you want to own the battery outright. Um, obviously you can do that later on, so you can buy it now as a battery lease and buy the battery out at a later date if you want to do that. So this is now actually the third time I've had this vehicle for sale. I've obviously known it for some time and it's in amazing condition. So the primary purpose of these videos is to show you that condition. Um, I'm, I point out every little negative I can find. I don't hide anything. So that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle without coming to view it first and then I'll deliver the vehicle to you. And most vehicles go like that without a viewing because of the effort I put into making these videos. And in this current time with the coronavirus then this is working really well because you don't need to come and view it first. So let's walk around and show you condition. Very little to show you on this car. Body work wise is absolutely immaculate. Uh, I can't find a dent or scratch or stone chip to show you. The only marks are on the alloy wheels, which you'd expect for a vehicle of this age. There's a couple of tiny little marks on a spoke there. Uh, I should say the tyre tread depths are on the website as well. Uh, there's a couple of little marks on the spokes, on three spokes on that wheel. And then going round here, there's a couple of marks on uh, that wheel as well, those two spokes, a minor little curbing on there, on the other side, but this, this is all very minor. And then two spokes again on that one, it's all standard sort of stuff really. Um, if I'm going to be really picky, on a couple of these spokes on the inner edge, it's just starting to corrode slightly. Uh, but again, standard stuff on alloy wheels at this age, particularly on the Zoe's, they are all like that and they're probably better than average. And then the only other things I will show you, again this is being really picky because there's not much to show you on this. There's a little uh, scuff there on the rubber trim at the top of the window, it's the size of a fingernail but tiny, nothing to worry about. And then the back badge is peeling, the blue effect on the badge is peeling off, they all do that, standard Renault problem. The blue effect means it's electric but they can't make the blue last and it slowly peels and it all peels off and returns to chrome anyway so just over time that will return to a chrome badge and then look good again. Um, Renault were changing these badges under warranty and they've given up on the blue effect idea and they were putting chrome badges on anyway. The front badge is much better. Normally the front badge goes first. I suspect the front badge was changed at some point because the front badge is in good condition. Oh, I'll also, while I'm here, I'll show you if I just open up the charge flap. Another common problem on the Zoe is, is the Type 2 um, charge flap. The inner flap here snaps off because this um, hinge is, is weak and it's got too, too strong a spring behind it and they have a habit of breaking. And this one's done that, it's broken at some point. However, when I last had this vehicle in, I put a BMW i3 rubber cap on here. It's a good alternative um, in a cap, it actually it works better than the original, uh, it, it makes it more waterproof. Um, so that's a good permanent solution now instead of getting the whole charging system changed because those caps aren't replaceable. So as I said, the paintwork on this car is all, all the bodywork, should I say, is really good condition. There's nothing to point out. It has also been waxed twice. Uh, so it's lovely and smooth. If I was going to be really critical and trying to point other things out, there's a little uh, misalignment here with the front bumper. Again, this is a common feature on all Zoe's. It's where the top of the bumper doesn't uh, mount properly against the plastic wing because it's all plastic. The wings are plastic and the bumpers are plastic and it's all very flexible and they have a habit of just popping out slightly. Uh, all Zoe's do it. It's actually not as bad as most of them but if there's any slight tap on the front of the bumper when you're parking they pop there and usually they stick out much more 
Um, so this is completely normal and that one it's only by you know this side it's two millimeters the other side it's three millimeters but there's no clip there to hold that in um, and as I said all Zoe's do that and then looking on the inside oh let's just unlock it it's all in really tidy condition back seats there are all great it's got the original carpet mats there's no scratching at all on the uh, plastics because these are all sort of hard plastics on the Zoe so they do have a habit of scratching if anyone puts stuff in the back but no it's all clean and tidy on this car and there's absolutely nothing to show you. Then in the car here we can now see the mileage is 28,261 miles and I can see from the range meter here showing 127 miles on a full charge you're not going to get that that's because I've deleted the driving history so that's like a theoretical lab um, range. In reality these do somewhere between 90 and 100 miles in the summer um, but because of the range it's showing I know this has had a BMS update which is something that Zoe's need, it's a software update and I think I had that done when this car was in before actually the first time uh, and I would just say this car's also just had a another software update on the heater system because that's another um, common problem with Zoe's when the heaters get a bit erratic and this car was doing that so that's now been fixed and it's got the latest software on the heating system as well. So. This car does come with two keys and we've got the original uh, Renault handbooks in the wallet and then here's all the documentation and we can see here the V5 it's had two previous keepers and the registration date is the 8th of the 9th 2015 and the MOT test is until 7th of the 9th 2020 and then we've got various receipts and previous MOT certificates and V5s in there so everything you would want to see. I'll just start the car up so everything works as it should do without any fault as you'd expect and this car is a, a dynamic nav and it's got the newer Renault R motor up front and what that means is it charges at 22 kilowatts AC maximum. So if you were to pull up to a, a rapid charger on the typically the motorway network, those ecotricity rapid chargers, it will charge at 22 kilowatts AC. So a rapid charge you would get in about 50 to 60 minutes and it will take you from naught to 80%. So this one has got the um, reversing camera, so if I just put it into reverse we can see out the back there we've got the camera image and it's got parking sensors on the back. Uh, it's something that the newer models, um, the camera became an option. Uh, we've got a heat pump heating system, it's had the software upgrade as I said. Um, it's also been regassed as well. Um, so yes we've got a very um, economic heater system on the Zoe's whereas other EVs um, without heat pumps will have a resistive heater they use an awful lot of energy to produce heat whereas the Zoe um, you're looking you're looking at only a five to ten percent loss in the winter versus 20 to 25 percent loss with some other EVs um, so yeah I think I've shown you everything I need to show you they've got automatic lights automatic wipers uh, cruise control speed limiter eco switch which reduces your power a little bit and maximizes your range you've got um, voice control you've got audio controls there behind the steering wheel you've got um, uh, radio uh, you don't get CD on these because uh, that's old hat now so it's all mp3 music streaming from your phone um, this doesn't have a DAB because that came in the year after this um, so it's an FM, FM or AM radio um, and you've got sat-nav of course and then in the back here we've got our charging cable a three-phase type 2 to type 2 I can also supply a portable charger often called a granny cable so what I do is a free loan on those so 
Uh, you buy it with the vehicle, you can then use it until you get your home charger installed, your wall charger, if indeed you want to get one installed. And then if you don't need that portable charger anymore, then you can send it back and I'll give you a full refund, hence why it's a free loan. And those portable chargers allow you to charge the car on a normal um, three pin main socket. It does take longer because they can only draw 10 amp, whereas if you were using a wall charger with your AC cable there, it would draw 32 amp. But uh, a car of a battery this size, it'll always be charged overnight and ready for the morning anyway. And then we've got the original uh, Renault safety kit in there. And then underneath the carpet here, we've got the puncture repair kit and um, locking wheel nut key. And it's all there, of course. So just to recap, this is a 22 kilowatt hour uh, battery pack on this Zoe with 22 kilowatt AC charging and that battery you can choose whether you continue as a battery lease as it currently is or whether you want to buy the battery outright um, or of course you can do that later on as I said. So this car is absolutely immaculate you're not going to find a better one at this age it really is in stunning condition and uh, this car's ready so if you're interested then give me a call or email let me know your postcode and I'll work out delivery cost and as I said it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use and um, in this uh, coronavirus time that uh, delivery can be contactless as well and it can just be dropped off outside your house or your workplace.